Hello. We heard that there was a sample collection on our home, asteroid Bennu. Came from your planet, Earth. Upon the spacecraft known as Osiris Rex. We would like to request that the samples be retrieved and sent back immediately. Otherwise, destruction shall come to your planet, Earth. Goodbye. Whoa, I don't know about you guys, but that was really, really crazy. Okay, anyway, hello everybody. I decided to dress up a little bit, kind of like an alien today. Um, I was actually doing a stream on Dexter with the students all about actually different spacesuit designs and what we're going to be wearing when we live on the moon. Now, ideally, we won't be really wearing something like this, but um, I want to go a little bit crazy. And uh, it was really fun. We actually got to compare and contrast Virgin Galactics and SpaceX's intravehicular activity spacesuits um, and then look at the new Artemis mission EVA spacesuits, so outside extravehicular activity spacesuits for outside of the spacecraft um, or the rocket and uh, for doing spacewalks. And we compared that to the Apollo mission. So that was like really, really fun. And we got to design our own. And um, so I decided to experience um, or share that with you guys and chat with you about the OSIRIS-REx mission, which was super exciting. So it was only uh, about a day ago, actually. And um, what was really awesome is the students knew all about it. And I want to share that with you guys because this was the first time ever in human history that a sample has been collected of an asteroid. And the asteroid's name is Bennu. And something special about it is it is like asteroids like Bennu are some of the oldest objects in our solar system. They may contain um, some like elements and research into understanding how our solar system really formed, how habitable environments um, were able to really truly form like here on Earth. And so being able to research the sample that was collected from OSIRIS-REx would really give us a lot of insight on the early solar system and um, also understanding what it takes to actually find um, a habitable environment uh, from space rocks like Bennu um, in space, like literally eventually colliding and starting to form into planetesimals and eventually planets. So we're going to chat a little bit about that, um, but I hope that you guys were just as excited as I was about this mission. So first I'm going to show you guys this video right here. Um, so what we're looking at is um, the arm of OSIRIS-REx. So this is actually this really long arm, it's about 11 feet long, and it was able to touch down onto the surface really briefly, uh, I believe it was about actually between 5 to 10 seconds. Um, really, really quickly to scoop up some of the dust and rocks from the actual asteroid. And it was really cool as I was reading about this, it did it by, by um, expelling or pushing out nitrogen gas, which then was able to like suck in some of this, this, uh, the rocks and the space dust. And um, it's kind of like my, my weird explanation, but it essentially did this. And it was a really cool technique where it just touched it and left really quickly. And it was about a four hour maneuver just to get to the surface of asteroid Bennu. And where the site was located is actually an area called Nightingale, which I think is really, really cool actually. Um, it's about 52 feet long. Um, and that is exactly where it touched down to then collect the samples. And also, by the way, um, Bennu is located about 200 million miles away from Earth. So OSIRIS-REx has been traveling quite a long journey. A lot of these space rocks, these asteroids, contain rich minerals that um, we could utilize here on Earth, things that we have here on Earth um, that are natural resources. And so being able to go elsewhere to actually mine for them um, can not only bring, you know, I guess a lot of, uh, I guess great new businesses can start up with it because it's, it's quite precious and can make a lot of money off of it. Um, but also it could just really help humanity in general uh, rather than having to dig for our own natural resources, you know, utilizing petroleum, um, within our, our within our earth to then form things like polyester uh things that are found in like a lot of our fabrics um being able to kind of move past that uh and being able to yeah fi find elements that are that are present on um, these other space rocks that are within our own solar system. So what I'm excited about is this return mission. Now, although the team for this mission says that um, it definitely went according to plan and it seems really good, they're actually doing a mass measurement um, on Saturday. So what that is, is they're gonna try to actually calculate how much was actually collected. Um, they wanna make sure that they actually got enough um, before returning back to Earth because otherwise they may be able to do another roundabout and then uh, do another touchdown and, and grasp, grasp some more 
um, yeah, sample if they need to. Uh, but right now, uh, they just want to make sure that that, because it's actually a 30% chance that they didn't get enough. So we're going to find out on Saturday if they did, and then Bennu, um, hopefully, um, we would be able to find out what exactly is made up of Bennu. I mean, we kind of have an idea, but um, to, to understand more, essentially, like what's really like lurking on this asteroid and being able to have a successful mission like OSIRIS-REx, if by the time, once it returns to Earth and we're able to um, actually bring the samples to the lab, knowing that it'll truly be a successful mission means that it'll be repeatable. And if we'll be able to do this more often, then it's the first step to being able to mine asteroids. And I think that would be super duper exciting. So yeah, that is um, that as far as Osiris Rex. And um, I'm going to sign off because this is getting really tight on my head and it's kind of hurting, but I feel kind of cool. Maybe it's just like walk around like this, except I have nowhere to go. All right. Anyway, goodbye, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed um, watching the footage of Osiris Rex touching down on asteroid Bennu. I think this is super cool. Okay. Bye.